Delta was flying. It was like moving at the speed of light. Incredible. Hi, I'm Scott Haney. Trying to get you going Trying to get me going here. Get you going on a Monday morning. Woo. Hello, I'm Irene O'Connor. It's great to be here with you. Great to be here with you yeah, as Nicole well. Yeah, Nicole is off today. Absolutely. Typically, I'm off on Mondays, but I worked yesterday. I was like, I got to go back to work tomorrow. I might as well just work. Yeah, you know and you're I mean? here. And here I am. And here you are. And was, we've got weather to talk about. Yeah, it was a busy weekend weather-wise, oh, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. Our first alert, live radar. The only live radar in Connecticut scanning dry. Good morning. First alert for this evening, like late this evening through early tomorrow morning. Isolated storms, particularly in northern Connecticut, could be rolling through. Some downpours and maybe some gusty winds that's going to have an impact on uh, outdoor activities now tomorrow night into Wednesday this gets a little interesting we're at level two in terms of the excessive rain outlook so tomorrow night through Wednesday morning there could be a pretty good amount of rain falling when you join us Wednesday morning on eyewitness news it's probably going to be pouring here in the state uh, and then according to first alert futurecast tomorrow's weather today we're taking a look at um, just uh, mainly clear skies through the day today it's gonna be a beautiful day but then tonight 10 o'clock the clouds start rolling in and then this is the action that I'm talking about very early tomorrow morning. And then that scoots on out. Most of Tuesday is dry during the day. But then watch what happens Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Looks like a little bit of a deluge. Then that scoots out and we should enjoy some partial clearing on Wednesday. Some scattered showers are likely on uh, Thursday. So for the rest of today, we're talking about 90 degree heat in inland Connecticut, mid to upper 80s along the shoreline. And then your uh, three day forecast. Again, that first alert for today, really for this evening through tonight. Sunny and hot today, isolated storms late. 92 inland, 89 at the shore. Tomorrow, isolated storms, less humid. And then Wednesday, also less humid with rain early. I'm looking forward to less humid. I'm looking forward to fall. <laughs> uh, so am I. We both are. It has been unbelievable. Really. So really just oppressive, really. And the fourth heat wave yeah. of the year just ended. That's incredible. Yesterday we only got to 86. Only 86. Only 86. Right. But, but it uh, felt so much hotter, too. It did with that humidity. Yeah. Ooh. Yep, and our top story today is the weather in parts of our state are still cleaning up after the storm on Friday. A couple of roads in the Greenway Trail are closed in Simsbury this morning. We got this incredible video of the wind flipping over planes at the Simsbury Airport Friday. Look at that plane just being that tossed over as the rain wow. pours down. Planes and a hangar there were damaged. Residents can drop off limbs and brush at the town landfill Wednesday and Saturday for free. Houses were also damaged across town and and in Granby. It was quite the wild wow. storm there. Yeah, I was working on Friday night anchoring with Mark Zinni, and we were like, what? It was incredible. It was but incredible. It was, it was isolated to those towns. Yeah, it was pretty it incredible. It was crazy. And then Sunday, uh, Saturday, that was Friday. Saturday, we had storms in Fairfield and in New Haven. Mm -hmm. About 20,000 people lost their power that time. And then uh, another first alert for late tonight into tomorrow. So we'll just wait yeah. and see what happens. But tonight's event doesn't look too bad. We just have to get through it. Yeah, the thunder at my house oh, yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. It was crazy. Yep. Absolutely. I've never heard anything like it. All right. All right. Well, well, today is the start of early voting for Connecticut's primary. Yeah, voting is available now until August 11th. The primary is Tuesday, August 13th. It's coming up. This is the first time voters can vote early in a primary election for state and district offices. There's a primary for the U.S. Senate seat held by Senator Chris Murphy and the U.S. House seat held by Representative Jim Himes. Now, state seats are also up for grabs. You have to be registered with a party to vote early, and you can find a list of early voting locations. Usually, Town Hall mm. has it instead of your regular polling place on the WFSB app. All right, you can still register to join a party and vote early in the primary. You just have to register by noon the day before you want to vote. All right, Vice President Kamala Harris could announce her running mate today. Whoever she chooses could help expand her lead in the presidential race. A new CBS poll shows Harris with a one-point edge over former President Trump right now. Harris, who now has enough delegate support to earn the nomination, met with prospects over the weekend, including Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. A lot of talk about this over the weekend. Lots so, of talk. So once the pick is announced, the pair will go on a campaign tour across seven battleground states. Should be interesting. Absolutely. See what happens. All right, coming up, getting ready for that first day of school. My